day it's a new life for me and I'm feeling good. Most people assume pilots enjoy professional respect, a well-rewarded jet set lifestyle, flying with glamorous cabin crew to exotic locations. But today the reality does not always live up to the image. Slavik is a young man who is passionate about aviation. He is trying to get his commercial pilot's license and is working hard every day to be able to afford it. I first got into um, aviation when I was 12 when a friend of ours um, took me for a small, um, took me in a small aircraft for a small flight and I've been, um, I've caught the flying bug as they call it ever since then. Um, uh, what I want to do is uh, fly aircraft and be around airplanes. Um, then uh, about a year ago I um, finally had the opportunity to start my pilot training and uh, started my uh, private pilot's classes. So to find my training um, I'm also need to have a full-time job so it's, uh, it takes more time for me than say for other people but I've still got a long way to go. I've only got my private pilot's license so I'm trying to build a few hours. For you, Tower Skyhawk 6525 Delta is ready for takeoff. Becoming a pilot is considered a luxury today. The cost of getting a commercial pilot's license in the UK goes up to £100,000. Historically, airlines paid for individuals' training, but now aspiring pilots must fund their own training. There are no companies in the UK, no airlines in the UK, which currently train, directly train their uh, trainee pilots. What, what often happens is that um, trainees have to put up um, their parents' house, for instance, as a guarantee to get this loan. This is a completely unfair thing to do. People shouldn't have to put their parents' house at je in jeopardy in order to train to become a pilot. But that's basically what we're seeing at the moment. The spokesman for the British Association for Pilots, Richard Toomer, says it's a volatile industry and everyone should be aware of its pitfalls. It can be very difficult and then you could end up with pilots who have put all their heart and soul and a lot of money into becoming uh, pilots, into their training, um, sitting around for, for, in some cases, many years without being able to get their, their dream job as a, as a pilot. Young people like Matt Cash, who got his commercial pilot's license a year ago, but still hasn't managed to fly commercially. I think certainly graduated uh, flight school at the wrong time, really, uh, in the middle of a global, global recession. Um, this year I've applied to 290 operators within Europe and uh, unfortunately there's, there's no jobs um, to, to be had uh, working full-time as a, as a commercial pilot. He's working as a flight instructor part-time and is consistently training because he's not giving up. I fly on the weekends, I get paid for that, so that earns me a little bit of money to put towards the cost of the train to get the training costs back. Um, I'm just going to keep applying and I'm going to keep going uh, because I believe that the global economy will pick up and there will be a demand for uh, people with pilot's licenses. I think, to, I think to give up would be a complete waste having put so much, so much effort into, into, into becoming a pilot. Pilot Peter has a different story. He learned to fly with the Royal Air Force and has been flying commercially for 25 years now. The progression was Flying with the Air Cadets, uh, learning to fly with Oxford Air Training School at 18, learning to fly properly with the University Air Squadron when I went to university at 21. Uh, and then there was a long pause because the airlines weren't recruiting in the UK. And by the age of 26, I had enough money one way or another, some of my own, some, of, uh, some help from my family, to go to Oxford Air Training School again and do my commercial flying license, which is what I did. Because of the very structured training I'd done with the Air Force in the University Air Squadron, they reduced the flying hours that I had to do. Not the ground school, I had to do it all. But the flying hours were somewhat reduced, which made it more affordable than it otherwise would have been and meant that I could just afford to do it. So I was very, very lucky with the timing of, of what I did. I emerged from Oxford with a commercial pilot's license 
and what they call an instrument rating, which enables you to fly uh, in all weather. And I joined BA from Oxford. Yet being rewarded with high debts and uncertainty to find a job, all these people have something in common, their passion for flying. It feels, it just feels great. It feels, you know, when you take off, um, I think, uh, all, you know, all my problems and everything get left on the ground and I'm just free to do whatever I want. Um, it's just a feeling like no other really and that's why I love it. The best thing you can say about flying is that you don't come home wondering why you went to work. It's essential that you do your job professionally, that you enjoy it and that you apply yourself to it. 95% of pilots in the UK are proud to be pilots. They're proud to tell people that they're pilots. But only one in five of them would recommend the career to their children. And you have to ask yourself, why is that the case? And it's because it isn't easy. And while Slavik has some concerns about going forward with his career in aviation, he has learned that... You just have to be wary going into this industry and uh, I guess always have a, a plan B, um, just in case things go wrong. People um, need to be careful about their dreams and how that shapes their future because it could become your worst nightmare. One of the joys of the job, actually, if you're flying passengers, is people because they're all so varied, they all have their different needs and uh, there are various things that happen, but uh, you just have to want to help people, I think, especially in passenger flying, and uh, I've enjoyed that. And the cabin crew I've worked with have been fantastic, and it's been great fun. I've been very lucky to have such a, a wonderful career, very lucky. For some people, sky is the limit, but for those who love aviation, Sky is home. Tatiana Daria, 